We are. I think we are. I think we are ready to start. Can I ask everybody to take their seats, please? How are you, Karen? Abbiamo anche il. So, thank you for. So, I would like to thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, it's a very important occasion for us. First of all, let me just very briefly, before we start our program, um, uh, recognize and present uh, the two high level personalities that, uh, from Italy that have decided to come here. Uh, the President of the Chamber of Deputies, the lower chamber of the Parliament, the Italian Parliament, is Her Excellency Laura Boldrini, and the Minister of Culture of Italy, uh, the Honorable Minister Dario Franceschini. Uh, of course, the Minister of Culture, the Ministry of Culture has been uh, uh, the, the, has had a leading role in advancing the uh, issue of protecting cultural heritage. And I would like just to mention very briefly bef before we uh, go on to see a video that will explain the Italian role and the Italian expertise in the, Italian, in the cultural protection of, um, uh, protection of cultural sites, just to mention that first at the UNESCO, a few years ago, Italy introduced a very important resolution, a very important decision uh, in the framework of the United for Heritage initiative called the Blue Helmets for Culture. It was in the spirit, and of course the minister and maybe the president will say a few words about that, the idea of in conflict situation or in post-conflict situation that you know, the peacekeeping forces, and I would like to salute also the president of Jean-Pierre Lacroix, the head of the DPKO, the, DP, the, the peacekeeping forces could, in a way, protect cultural heritage, which is, of course, a way to protect our common identity. It was done in UNESCO, and then Italy, as a member, a non-permanent member of the Security Council for 2017, together with France and the other members of the Security Council, uh, was able to um, propose and to adopt a very important resolution, an historic resolution of the Security Council in March this year which established some very important principles uh, for the future peacekeeping missions in which, you know, the cultural dimension must be uh, protected and preserved. So I also would like, uh, after my brief, very brief introduction, to thank all the ambassadors. I will not mention all of you. You have many, many. Uh, you have come here this morning because I think it's very important for many, many countries uh, in Africa, in Asia, in the Middle East, uh, elsewhere, to be um, very much aware of the importance of this initiative, which will bring, one day we hope, uh, the, the international community able to protect and conserve cultural heritage and especially cultural identity. So I just want to finish here, and then, of course, we are going to see a brief video uh, from the General, General Parrulli of the Carabinieri, you know that the Italian Carabinieri are very important expertise in this field. And then we will start with the intervention of the Minister of uh, Culture of Italy and then the others. So we might start with the, the video. Thank you. Numerous appeals for the preservation of cultural heritage in areas of international crisis have prompted the Italian government to become a promoter of the institute, the Unite for Heritage team. Starting with the proposal of Minister Franceschini in the International Conference of Ministers of Culture held on the occasion of Expo 2015 and involving more than 80 countries in a statement condemning the violence against the world's cultural heritage, there was drawn up a project for the founding of the Unite for Heritage team, presented in international forums as a model to be adopted in different countries. In essence, it is a task force of police forces specialized in the protection of cultural heritage and of experts in the field, which together may intervene in areas affected by emergencies of any nature. 
man-made disasters or crisis in a security frame in order to preserve archaeological sites, places of culture and cultural heritage. Combat the international trafficking of cultural goods unlawfully removed. Support the authorities of the applicant countries in the preparation of measures to limit the risks that a crisis or emergency may have on the cultural heritage of those countries. The project foresees that the team should be composed by specialized TPC carabinieri and of archaeologists, art historians, restorers and other professionals in the cultural field. In this respect, the TPC by virtue of its international authority has already offered to carry out special courses of cooperation and training for teams of other countries according to the Italian model. Moreover, the TPC has put forward its candidacy for coordination of the teams involved in the field. On the 29th of September 2015, the Italian Prime Minister in New York before the assembly of the United Nations described the leading role of Italy in the protection of cultural heritage and declared Italy ready to make available to the UN and UNESCO the Unite for Heritage team, which Italy has recently formed, implementing the directives of the Ministry of Cultural Heritage and Activities and Tourism and the Carabinieri General Command. In fact, parallel to the political and diplomatic stage, the general commander of the force has set up the Carabinieri team Unite for Heritage, composed entirely of TPC personnel, directed by a responsible officer with an officer in charge and four dependent sections, operative, database, training and logistics. Integrated with experts from the Ministry of Cultural Heritage and Activities and Tourism, Italy will have its own team immediately available. To promote real operation in the field of the various teams, the Minister Franceschini ordered the creation of an international gravitational center for training, in which the training section of the TPC, instituted by the General Commander of the Force, will be concerned with the formation of the Unite for Heritage teams and all the other training activities for the requesting nations. On the 16th of October 2015, with the approval by acclamation of the UNESCO Executive Council of the resolution presented by Italy, the Unite for Heritage team created the first in the world. An important step in a long journey guided by Italy in this international mission for the protection of civilization and culture. A journey which experienced just a few months after another memorable day. On 16 February 2016 in Rome, the Director General of UNESCO and the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, in the presence of the Ministers of Heritage and Cultural Activities and Tourism, Defense and University, and the General Commander of the Carabinieri, signed a historic agreement. Italy is the first country in the world that has its own Unite for Heritage team, composed of 30 specialized units of the TPC, together with the component of the civil experts of MIBACT, which is at the forefront, ready to act for the protection of the world cultural heritage. Thank you very much. <clears throat> now, we, st we can start with the intervention. I will give the floor first to Minister of Culture of Italy, Honorable uh, Dario Franceschini, and then we are going to have the intervention of uh, USG uh, Jean-Pierre Lacroix, the sh head of the PKO, <laughs> of the representative of UNESCO, Marie-Paul Roudil, and then maybe others. So I will give you the floor, Mr. Minister. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you to all. Thank you to our tutti i paesi, agli ambasciatori che sono presenti, alle organizzazioni. E consentitemi di ringraziare in modo particolare il nostro, la nostra Presidente della Camera dei Deputati, Laura Boldrini, che eh, ringraziamo davvero della sua presenza e mh, anche per, non soltanto per il suo ruolo istituzionale attuale, ma anche perché tutta la sua vita precedente all'impegno politico è stata nelle organizzazioni internazionali dedicata ai temi più legati alla, 
i temi che stiamo vivendo oggi, legato alle Nazioni Unite, legato ai temi dell'immigrazione e quindi veramente ci fa un grande piacere, piacere averla qui con noi, la ringraziamo. Il video ha in modo molto chiaro e breve illustrato quello che l'Italia ha fatto in questi tre anni che abbiamo alle spalle. Normalmente nelle scelte della comunità internazionale tra il momento in cui viene elaborata e proposta un'idea e il momento in cui quell'idea si traduce in atti formali, concreti, passa molto tempo. In realtà, ed è davvero una cosa di cui credo tutti insieme noi dobbiamo essere orgogliosi, eh, in un tempo molto breve, dal 2015 ad oggi, come abbiamo visto, si sono eh, concretizzati molti passi importanti in una direzione, la protezione del patrimonio culturale eh, in una direzione in cui era veramente indispensabile agire in fretta. Eh, il tema della protezione del patrimonio culturale è partito ed è diventato centrale nel dibattito della comunità internazionale eh, in conseguenza di alcuni eventi che il terrorismo internazionale ha voluto utilizzare eh, 